Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, for today, I'm going to be trying something different. I think I need a new opening line. But anyway, I actually really enjoyed painting the crumpled note. It's delightfully torturous yet fun at the same time. Pleasure in pain, my friends. Instead of a crumpled paper today, I'm going to paint one of my many favourite hobbies, which is poker. Still life is definitely a lot more difficult for me. Or anything that requires drawing is actually very tough for me. After this painting, I never want to see another deck of playing cards or poker chips again. My maternal grandmother was the one who taught me how to play. Because I was the first grandchild of the family, both my maternal and paternal grandmother fought a lot for custody to babysit me in the afternoon. They didn't get along very well, due to parenting or rather grandparenting differences. My dad calls it the battle of the mother-in-laws. Language was a barrier as well since my maternal one only spoke Chinese and my paternal one only spoke Korean and a little bit of English between them both. But one day, my maternal grandmother played a movie of God of Gamblers by Chow Yun-Fat. Back then, DVDs have yet to exist, so it was those VHS tapes where you had to rewind and forward manually while hoping that the tape wouldn't jam up halfway. So anyway, my Korean grandmother would watch, despite not understanding a single word, but she did think that Chow Yun-Fat was handsome though. She would go, ah, Chai Sing Keta. That was when my Chinese grandmother would teach us how to play and we would bond over a game of poker. And the only Korean word my maternal grandmother would learn is tun, which means money. Likewise, the only Cantonese word my paternal grandmother would learn was chin, which also meant money. That was their own way of friendly taunts when they won. They were definitely a lot more amicable with each other ever since. I don't like to gamble, especially those card games which solely relied on luck, such as baccarat and blackjack. But poker is different, there's a little more critical thinking involved, cold reading and calculated risk. That said, it's also pretty satisfying when you pull off a big bluff. A place where I can practice my acting and body language reading skills. So painting this brought a lot of memories. I definitely miss my grandmother, but I know she's probably happy in heaven, so that's a comforting thought at the very least. This was challenging to paint, but fun at the same time. Maybe I'll start painting my favourite hobbies when I run out of ideas again. Hence, without further ado, let's begin. Trying out my bank account But when I get that I feel it here in mind It makes me feel so trapped So loved So bad So fucking good So bad I would if I could But there's something about it That keeps me coming back
Destroying out my bank account But when I get that I feel it here in mine It makes me feel so trapped So loved So bad So fucking good So bad I would if I could But there's something about it That keeps me coming back I keep running back for some of that. Gotta say, I really like your taste. I can't quite quit and I can't quite stay. What drives me back? And why can't I get away?
Just trying out my bank account But when I get that I feel it here, man It makes me feel so trapped So loved So bad, so fucking good Too bad I would if I could But there's something about it That keeps me coming back Like your taste, I can't quite quit and I can't quite stay. What drives me back? And why can't I get away? Stay what drives me back And why can't I get away? 